with the tutorials, the learning path that we just recently released, that learning full-blown learning path is all around AI infrastructure. Um, the, the design of that learning path is around uh, and, and attached to the uh, CCDE uh, AI infrastructure elective that, that we have for you out there. So if this is something from a design perspective you're pursuing, that learning path will kind of guide you through that, will take you through AI workloads in general, uh, we'll, we'll dive into, you know, what are the pieces of AI. So kind of that top from application level all the way down to the infrastructure so you could understand uh, what is AI workload? Or what does it mean from an infrastructure perspective? So a portion of it is released. We are continuing adding to uh, that learning path. So you'll see a part two of that learning path very soon. Uh, but uh, make sure to just keep your eye out on uh, u.cisco.com for, for all the great goodness that we have for you. The other piece we should probably spend a moment on is when we talk about this new AI learning path, and we, we had talked about automation and what we did together with DevNet, this is also an extension of that because this pertains to DevOps. It pertains to another buzzwords that is out there, AI ops. So all of these skills intersect in, in multiple ways. And so we are continuing, you know, our focus again is on skill enablement for our community, which includes cyber, which includes AI, which includes DevOps, automation. You know, AI is really automation in practice. Yeah, and it's really good for um, learners and organizations to understand where those things intersect and where the insertion points are for AI within their operational processes, whether it be at the infrastructure layer or the DevOps layer. Um, there's opportunities for that insertion at each point. Um, and it's helpful to understand, I think, for the infrastructure engineers, not just the, um, you know, the compute and the networking and the storage ramifications of, of AI workloads, but then how we can leverage the tooling as we move up the stack. And that part is very valuable um, across all kinds of organizations, whether they be, you know, small or large enterprise organizations.